Okay, so with PlayStation VR, uh, I've dug out the old motion controllers for my PS3, and the batteries are pretty foobard to be honest. Um, now, I've seen replacement batteries on eBay, but the real big drawback for all of these is there's only 1300 milliamp hours. I thought, you know, there must be a bigger battery out there that you can fit. Uh, and it turns out there is. So a quick video and show you how to swap the batteries over uh, into the move controller and swap it for something that's uh, a bit more potent, uh, which are these babies, uh, which are, uh, I think, around, there uh, we go, yep, yeah, uh, 2,040 milliamps, which is about another 700 milliamps on top of the original battery. So it gives you about a third longer battery life and um, they're also cheaper than uh, buying the you know the sony replacement so what you need to do uh, take the four screws out so i'll just do that there we go and just carefully take the top off like that be careful don't pull it too hard because these uh these zip cables uh, and there is the battery uh, it's dead easy to take out just pop it out uh, and then there's a little connector down the bottom if you just give it a bit of a wiggle not, don't pull too hard and there we go it's out there we go and that is the original Sony battery and if you look on it it should say it's capacity on there I don't know whether I can get it to focus uh, I'll try is it going to focus? Uh, it's struggling isn't it? oh there we go 1380 milliamp hours so this, this battery is actually um, a particular battery size type so you know you have double a triple a cd this is uh actually an 18500 battery that's actually a battery size 18500 um and this replacement battery if we can get it to focus is an 18500 a 204 amps which is two two uh, thousand and forty milliamp hours so it is simply a case of taking this apart and so I'm going to cut this open now be careful where you cut you can see in this package is sort of a dented indent in the casing sort of here you don't want to cut it there you want to cut it along the label here uh, the reason why in a minute so I've cut this open straight through there like that Peel that out of the way. There we go. Now what's interesting is, look at that. Get it to focus, are you going to focus? Come on. That's a battery 18500. So, and you can see the, I, they're exactly the same size. This is also 18500, but it's bigger capacity. Now, the other reason why you didn't cut it down the bulge is if we pop this off a little bit more, there's actually a circuit board that runs down the side of the battery here. So, if you peel this off. You should be able to see it. There we go. There's the circuit board. There it is. So I guess that is something to do with the controller reporting its power back to the PlayStation 
and it might even be something to do with a balancing or, or not a balancing it's only one cell but a you know charging circuit of some type so just need to pull all this off like that and there's the old battery so what we want to do now is carefully prise off this end and this end uh, noting which one's positive and the positive one is the one that's nearest the red wire uh, so we get it the right way around when we put the new battery in I'm just going to prise these off and they are quite awkward uh, and you think they're going to snap or bend uh, but they're not but it looks like they might I'll just gently put a knife under there and do that there we are. Same on this one. Like that. Like that. There we go. Um, don't need that anymore. But we do need this. Now, I've not tried soldering these, um, but I suspect might work, uh, might not, but these these batteries, especially uh, with, this is a lithium ion battery, but especially with LiPo batteries, it's very difficult to use standard solder to get things to stick. Um, so you might be able to get these to solder uh, and stick on the battery, but I, I'm not sure. Um, and indeed, you know, on this one, it was actually just sort of press fitted and crimped onto the battery, it wasn't soldered. So you might get away with soldering them, um, but you might not. So what I found the easiest way was make sure we've got the positive of the battery to the positive, the positive one being nearest the red wire, and negative like that. And then what I found easiest was to use black insulation tape and just wrap it tightly round. first one you don't need to get too tight but the second one you should pull really tight like that make sure it connects properly a bit more on that like that and then just wrap a bit around the battery I mean, it's unlikely that this is going to touch anything, um, even if it's in that way around. But you know, just good practice. Should just probably just wrap a bit of tape around it like this. straightforward just shove this connector back in there like that. put that battery into there like that and put this back on Now, and there we go. Now, 
little register is pretty low on charge because obviously these brand new batteries they come with only very little charge in them so that's connected to my playstation that's on in the background so i'm going to go and charge this now uh, i've charged another one i've done this previously um, so i've got that one see that one lit up and it's held its charge uh, and yeah it's great so you should get about a third extra usage time out of these um, and the batteries are pretty cheap in fact I uh, I'll probably start selling them on eBay uh, very soon um, so I'll check back and I'll update a link thanks for watching I uh, hope you find it really useful especially with PlayStation VR when these get used a lot um, it's so much better with more battery power. Okay, take it easy. Bye for now.